Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to migrate Azure AD Connect or Entra Connect to a new server. So the first thing we do is we start the Azure AD Connect app. And what we need to do is export the settings. Right off the bat, it tells you that synchronization is suspended and that's fine by us. We go to view or export current config configurations, export settings. And we simply save this somewhere. I'm going to save it to my desktop. And now I'm going to go ahead and log in to my new server. Now that I'm logged into the new server, I'm going to go ahead and uh, install Azure AD Connect. I'll leave a link in the description below to the installation, to the download file, so you can download it if you need to. First thing is we agree to the terms and conditions. We use customize and we're gonna import synchronization settings. And we're gonna take the file from the old server, copy it here and bring it here. So we'll go to the desktop and import it. And simply say install. All right, this took about 10 minutes to finish. So I'm just going to go through, run through with the defaults. I'm going to log in here to Azure. Now it found our domain, but we need to uh, create a new AD account basically to uh, to start syncing. So I need to provide the enterprise admin username and password here. And this is basically to give permission to uh, AD Connect to create a new user, a sync user. All right, so it now added it. As you can see, we are all good. We click next. And that's just gonna create now, start configuring. All right, that took a few minutes and we are uh, done. So, and I'm not going to enable staging mode here. I'm just going to go, go ahead and tell it start synchronization right away. Now this is take, this takes about uh, five to seven to, to probably 10 minutes. While we're waiting, please remember to uh, like this video and subscribe for more content like this. All right, configuration is complete. And it says the Azure AD Connect configuration succeeded. The synchronization process has been initiated. And now this is done. Basically, we go to the old server now. Control panel. And we will be uninstalling the Azure AD Connect. All three of them. And I'm just going to tell it to remove everything. And uh, basically, that's how you do it. Once you install this, the new one is active and running. And that's how you migrate it to a new server. Well, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.